Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. It's been a while since my last one, but in this one I'm taking a look at Doctor Strange. This video is a bit late, and that's honestly because I wasn't sure if I was even going to make a video for Doctor Strange or even for this month's update. I think the devs really messed this one up, and I wasn't really motivated to make a video and test these out thoroughly especially because Doctor Strange barely got an upgrade, as you'll see in the video, and the characters like Sister Grimm and Doctor Voodoo, although it's good that they did get upgrades since they didn't have anything, they don't really offer anything too valuable in particular, with the exception of Doctor Voodoo, which you can use as a leadership for things like Dispatch if you don't use White Fox or Enchantress. Man-Thing is probably one of the better parts of this update since he is a new free character, and does quite decently in PvP, despite the fact that he doesn't have an iframe ignore. Besides that, the main aspect of this update, the team up collections, although it looks good on paper, where you could customize and tweak characters how you want with extra stats, is executed horribly in game. Certain characters can become much stronger than other ones, specifically T4 ones, since they have access to those extra stats, and they basically make present and future T4s obsolete if they also don't have access to their own team up collection and those extra stats. What's worse yet, the way that you get these extra stats is by getting tokens and the way that you get tokens is by either upgrading characters uniforms or the characters themselves and this could be for things that you don't even want like old uniforms that are irrelevant or obsolete. On top of that, that's not even the worst of it. The worst is that once you kind of get to the higher levels of the upgrade, you can only really get tokens from the shop with real money. And the thing that makes the system completely idiotic is that there is a high chance of failing the upgrades. So you're essentially paying for nothing. Anyways, moving on to Doctor Strange's review. The character is still good for PvE. And if you want to build him for it, I would highly recommend CTP of Rage over the other options just because with his old uniform and his new one, a lot of his skills are delayed, so it just makes proccing and doing damage that much easier in general. I didn't really end up changing his build from the last time that I tested the character, so all the testing that you see with the old uniform and the new one is with a mighty CTP of Rage. Although Doctor Strange does get substantially better at least in World Boss Legend with the level 80 upgrade. The main thing that I looked at in this review was to see how the old uniform compared to the new one. That is kind of the reason why I was not really that interested to test the character in general, just because the difference was almost non-existent from the results that I found, as you'll see in these clips. So you can see in this first one that I was able to take down Null with around 2 minutes and 50 seconds left. And with the new one, I was able to clear it about 30 seconds faster with around 3 minutes and 18 seconds left. However, one thing to keep in mind is that I was able to burst down one of his phases faster than I did in the previous run with his old uniform, which allowed me to skip it and give me a lot of that extra clear time. So it's not actually 30 seconds better as you'll see in some of these other clips. You can see what I mean much clearer in this other test versus Mephisto on stage 49. With the old uniform, I was able to complete this fight with around 25 seconds left or so. And the thing that I found baffling was that with the new uniform, I was essentially able to get the exact same clear time. It was just around two seconds faster, which is pretty much negligible. Now, I don't know if I was doing something wrong in the testing here, like maybe the rotation was off or the procs were off or something. But in the other tests that I did in Alliance Battle Extreme, it seemed to give almost the exact same result. So it just seems like this uniform is basically useless for the most part for his offensive upgrade. The only real value I see from this uniform is that he is a little bit more durable now since he has more iframes to hide in and has higher healing. And I guess you could get some value out of the stupid collection system by getting this uniform and upgrading it. But, I mean, other than that, you aren't really getting much from this. Keep in mind that even though the uniform doesn't really add much to the character, getting him to level 80 does make a substantial difference. You can see in this clip that my clear time was nearly 2 minutes and a half faster by getting that level 80 upgrade. I noticed with this uniform that although he is more durable, he is also more annoying to play. A lot of his skills have a high amount of delay on them and the skill animations last for a long time so it becomes kind of difficult to figure out when exactly you should kind of 
cancel skills or go into your rotations since it just keeps throwing off the procs. Funny enough, you can see in this clip that although I can do stage 64 of gore with that level 80 upgrade, those delays on the skills are just brutal and I ended up dying <laughs> versus gore, but he probably would have completed this within the next 15 seconds, so with about 45 seconds left. One of the things that you can utilize Doctor Strange for is the Blast Mail day in Alliance Battle Extreme. However, I don't think that he is meta for that day either, especially with his new uniform. And he also lacks the burn effect, so you basically would need to get him to T4 if you want to use him for that season. You can see from this clip that with the old uniform at level 70, I was able to score around 10.2 million with that Mighty Rage. And then in comparison, when getting the character to level 80 and using his new uniform, he barely had really any kind of a difference in the score that I got. He was only able to get about 500,000 more, which is again pretty negligible for the amount of upgrades that you're putting into the character. The character won't really be used in Alliance Battle Legend either, since there aren't any particular days that he satisfies and you would mostly just be using him for the no restrictions day. And for that day, there are far better options, so he won't really have any value in ABL specifically. The one piece of content that Doctor Strange does really well in is Giant Boss Raid, but that seems like hardly a reason to upgrade the character when others can do this mode as well, on top of the other content that they're useful for. I honestly don't know what his most ideal rotation is because a lot of his skills just have a lot of delay and there isn't one clear cut skill that just lingers on for you to proc on and just stay in. But the rotation that I used was to do a five delay cancel after the animation appears, then do a three cancel into one and then cancel into four. And you delay cancel that for a little bit till kind of like the copies appear and then you finish off with the second skill. When you have access to your T3, you would use that at the start of the rotation and then follow up with the rest of the rotation that I mentioned. One of the things to note with the new uniform is the added iframes across most of his skills and the priority that he has on those skills. So in some ways you can make a proc sort of work by having him go into iframe and just burst down the opponent very quickly but he won't really outlast the bigger metas that have iframe ignore and can pretty much kill him instantly. If you utilize him in Alliance Conquest, then I would highly recommend pairing him with Nick Fury so you get that super armor and you can kind of make the CTP of Rage work if you have a PvE build on him. But otherwise, if you want to build him specifically for PvP, you could try a CTP of Destruction, but I think that he probably will be most consistent and the most valuable by being annoying in the mid-level range of characters. And for that to happen, you would need the extra survival from something like a CTP of Authority. Keep in mind that the character does have Reflect in his kit and that he also has an iframe ignore from his artifact, but it hardly ever activates, so the longer you can keep him alive, the more opportunity you have for those skills to be effective. That pretty much sums up the testing that I did for the character. I know I didn't really look at the T4, but from what I saw online, it doesn't really add too much to the character and doesn't really make him shine in any piece of content, especially considering that there are so many other good Blast characters that you can upgrade and some of them don't even cost as much to upgrade as Doctor Strange, considering that he is a native. I really think that the devs should relook at this uniform, especially the damage numbers on it, since I think that they reduced them down drastically from the previous one, and that was probably due to trying to balance the uniform, but it clearly seems that that didn't work out. Also, I find it really annoying that the devs are trying to limit native characters into specific game modes when they should be accessible and usable in all game modes considering their cost. And what I mean for this is that they've taken the iframe ignore off of Doctor Strange from his older uniforms and put it on the artifact, but the artifact never really triggers in PvP, so you basically have just lost that iframe ignore effect, which made the character potentially plausible for a good to semi high level of PVP, considering that he also had reflect on the second skill. So if they want to kind of rectify that in a way, since they're not really going to mess with the iframe ignores probably, then they should just add that reflect to his base kit, his passive, as opposed to when he uses the second skill, so that he actually becomes more useful in PVP on top of the PVE buff, which is tweaking the numbers. 
Also, I accidentally mentioned earlier that you can use a destruction for him in PvP, but that won't really work because he has 100% penetration to a bunch of different sources in his kit, so that will nullify the penetration to all sources from the destruction. And because of that, you would want to go with the CTP of Greed instead, since you get more benefits, and you can kind of choose which proc activates first, depending on how you roll it. Sadly, Doc Strange was kind of a letdown, which is really unfortunate considering how popular the character is, but if you already have him with the old uniform, then just get him to level 80, and he should provide a good amount of value there as is. My hope is to make another video covering the three other characters for this update before the Halloween or seasonal uniforms drop because I think that those are probably going to be pretty good and Ghost Rider is likely going to be a very strong character since he is universal and he had an eye from Ignore with his previous uniform so he could have some PvP potential. Anyways that pretty much covers this video. If you found it entertaining or useful then please consider liking, sharing with others or maybe even subscribing. As always, I appreciate people taking the time to watch these, so thank you, but the video is now over.